I was informed by my doctors that I had cancer originally in late 2008 and then in February of this year, 2014, uh, they uh, let me know after a few tests that it had come back and it was then terminal. So we actually got a, a, a diary, a big, one of those big annual diaries and we plotted in, we'll do this and we'll see those people and we'll go here and everything else. I was only brave enough to fill in three months because, you know, it's quite difficult when you get given a diagnosis of three to nine months. You do the things that you have to and you look at the diary and think three to nine months isn't long enough. But I've probably safely got another eight weeks in which I'll be able to function at this sort of a level, but I wouldn't be betting on more than that because you don't know what's going to happen. If I had, uh, as Dr. Syme says, the knowledge... Um, I, ha I don't know that I would use it. The power of uh, having, and I call it choice at end of life, but the power of having, uh, having that choice is that you actually have it. Having the ability to have the choice is an important part of a dying process. So Mr Prime Minister, Please meet with me so that we can discuss this compassionate issue around choice that so many Australians want brought to the surface and want the opportunity to have as part of their final palliative process. And in doing so, we can make this country not only a great country to live in, but an even greater country to die in. Thank you. Please, Mr Prime Minister, won't you meet with my husband?